This is uh, Chris right now with your weather and what's happening out there. All right. Well, we are starting off pretty comfortable this morning in the temperature department. We're in the 60s up and down the eastern plains. DIA still holding at 70. Boulder, you're flirting with 70. High country, we're in mid 40s to mid 50s. And then the western slope, uh, 55 to 65, pretty common. It is uh, 61 in Greeley this morning. Wind speeds are pretty uh, light across the state until you're on the eastern plains. And we have a few places in that 15 to 20 mile per hour range. And we'll see a little bit of wind from time to time today. Satellite and radar together. Uh, pretty quiet for the most part, other than some clouds. There may be a few sprinkles hanging in our foothills and down here in the southwestern corner. A couple of sprinkles in the area. There's a trough of low pressure sitting over Wyoming, and we're close enough to this that we're feeling it, a little bit of unsettled uh, conditions in the atmosphere this morning, and that will last into the afternoon, potentially even creating some strong to severe storms on our eastern plains. You notice how close it is to Denver. We're not officially in the threat zone, but we're right on the western edge. So anybody east of I-25 today, keep an eye to the sky. Here's your future cast. So a couple of patchy sprinkles out there this morning. By noon, we'll start to see a few showers pop here in the front range uh, area with the daytime heating. Maybe a couple of rain showers coming through Denver, but you see how it's just to the east of the city, that line of storms popping up. That's where the severe threat will be. We could see some large hail out here today, damaging winds and locally heavy rain. Highs on the eastern plains held back because of the cloud cover, so we're talking mostly 80s. A few places uh, could hit those low 90s in the southeast, 70 to about 80 in the mountains, and 80s to mid 90s over on the western slope. Denver's high right around 87. I want to show you this. Next week, we may see the first strong cold front indicating the season change ahead. The outlook from NOAA says the middle part of the country is going to go well below normal. Uh, it's unclear how that will affect us here in Denver. Joel, but what we do know is the weekend will be hot and in the 90s. I'm bringing next week's temperatures down to the 80s. There are a few models that have us in the 60s, if mm. you can believe that. So we'll just have to see how that cold front comes together. Bottom line, enjoy the weekend just in case those changes ahead are pretty significant. It's like a, a little polar vortex. A little, uh, descending. Little, <laughs> little taste of what's to come. Yeah. And it will go. It always does. It always does. Right. Hey, uh, speaking of